We're here at ITU Telecom World 2015 in Budapest, Hungary, and I'm very pleased to be joined by Alex Wong, who is Head of Global Challenge Partnerships for the World Economic Forum. Alex, welcome to the studio today. Thank you. Now, the theme at ITU Telecom World 2015 is accelerating innovation for social impact. I wanted to ask you, how do you see ICT innovation directly impacting uh, on socioeconomic development through your work at the World Economic Forum? Excellent. ICT for us is a critical enabler for all economic growth. Uh, some of you are familiar with our global competitiveness report and in, indeed technological readiness forms one of the pillars within the global competitiveness report methodology. Uh, and it's actually interesting where we also position it. We position it as a pillar that is critical for countries that are trying to transform from a process or manufacturing driven economy to an innovation economy. And in terms of uh, government and industry, I wanted to ask you, what, what measures can government and industry take to encourage entrepreneurship and foster the growth of SMEs in the ICT sector? And what's the World Economic Forum doing? Entrepreneurship is, of course, also critical to all the, uh, realizing all the opportunities that, that ICT permits. And uh, I'll, I'll zoom in on specifically one hot topic that, that's a passion of mine. We, we had a major initiative on, edu on education and the topic of entrepreneurship education. How can we use the education system to promote the development of more entrepreneurial thinking and ultimately uh, individuals that could go out there and, and create the SMEs that will drive the next phase of growth. And one of our key findings was ICT is a critical enabler to allow that to happen, both to, the, to allow the transmission of that knowledge, but also to allow the, the kids to learn the ICT skills that are gonna be part of the new economy that they need to be part of. How important, in your opinion, are collaboration and multi-stakeholder partnerships in accelerating ICT innovation? Well, I think this is the heart of what we believe in at the World Economic Forum. I'm sure it's a, what is, is at the heart of what the ITU believes in, is that the challenges are so broad and comprehensive that not one single actor can address it. If we just take the, uh, the issue of, of technology readiness, you need to address the issues related to regulatory issues, re related to affordability, uh, access, the content creation, and the usage of, of the ICT technologies, uh, be it business, civil society, government, all those elements, you can't have government um, sitting in its offices making the declaration. You also can't have a private sector, um, be it local or international, come in and take the responsibility. These can only happen if everyone's working in a coordinated fashion, under a master plan, under a vision that the government should be creating but it has to be done where everyone's working together. And in the case of SMEs in particular, we know that the creation of local content is one of the, one of the key enablers that's required if you're gonna drive internet access. Um, statistics are showing that uh, it's not just a matter of having the access of the internet or ICT to population. In fact, there's countries where a lot of that is already there, but most citizens don't see the value or don't understand why they should bother. Why should they pay the extra whatever it is per month? And so the local content is critical and local content has to come from local entrepreneurs. And finally, we're here at ITU Telecom World 2015. There's a lot of people here from all over the world. I wanted to ask you, why is it important for you to attend? What's the value of attending events such as this? Yeah, I think, I mean, ITU's, in my view, core strength and competency is bringing the governmental communities. And we've already had some great discussions and interactions with key ministers, uh, key regulators. I think that's the core strength of which uh, this event has to drive on and continue to drive on. And I think that, um, that then allows the rest of the community, be it private sector or civil society, to then come together and engage in discussions and also hopefully uh, actions. Alex Wong, thank you very much indeed. Thank you.